This interview is for information only and should not be considered as investment advice or a recommendation to buy shares in the company featured. Welcome to this stock box interview. is Ryan Mee, the CEO of Fulcrum Metals. Well, Ryan, tomorrow is the day, the 14th of February, Valentine's Day. The IPO is officially happening. I know you're making your way down to the LSE. How are you feeling? Uh, um, I'm ecstatic. I'm, you know, over the moon. It's uh, it, It's been uh, an intense process. Um, uh, and, you know, um, now that we have our listing date, it's really going to allow me to really focus on the business, which really brings back the the fun and the excitement for me. <laughs> yes, the fun and the excitement. Of course, IPO processes are generally not fun and exciting. They're very tedious and drawn out and a very long process. But uh, you mentioned to me earlier that you found that you had a very, uh, you were well supported. You've raised three million, but actually you could have taken more. Yeah, the the response from investors is you know is has been uh, fantastic, and you know I, I thank all those investors out there. Um, you know, it's it's not uh, an insignificant amount of money for a junior exploration company. Uh, we set our sights high so that we can get out there and do you know a lot of high impact exploration work, and you know to to have achieved what we set out, you know it's. Uh, for us, it's a real validation of the people involved with Fulcrum, the projects we have and the vision we have. So, you know, um, I'm tremendously excited. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's it's put us uh, on a really good platform for, you know, the next uh, 18 months So yeah, over the moon. Excellent. So for the next 18 months, well, you mentioned the high impact exploration work. Those are words that investors will want to hear for sure. Before we get on to some of the plans, could you just perhaps remind us, of the package of what the projects are that you put together at Fulcrum? Yeah, absolutely. So we have six projects um, in Canada, um, gold, base, and uranium metals. So in Ontario, uh, we've got four projects. Uh, the flagship project, which is the Schreiber Hemlo project, um, we, we've got a, you know, we've consolidated a really large footprint of 113 square kilometers some really high gold numbers in rocks and soils. So that project, uh, you know, we've got uh, exploration permits, which covers drilling, uh, which we want to get out there to Big Bear this year to, to you know, go and see what's under the hood. Um, and, you know, across the, you know, a bit further over to the east, um, we've got uh, the Deo Hezero project, which is, just flanks the eastern edge of the Tycho 1 palladium um palladium one uh, tyco project uh which as you know through uh, or most will know through first class metals is a really up and coming area which could be a brand new nickel sulfide discovery zone which is really exciting um we also have uh, the wawa project which is uh, just 30 kilometers away from two multi-million ounce gold deposits so again perfect location um, and we have our Winston Lake project, which, you know, it, it basically adjoins uh, Metal and Resources high-grade zinc copper mine, which, you know, they're, they're looking to put into production uh, soon enough. So we're in the right areas uh, to kind of uh, rise with the tide in these areas with the investment and the focus, and also get out there to Schreiber Hemlo and go out there and make those discoveries. Um, in Saskatchewan, we've got two other projects, uh, Fontaine Lake, where we've got, you know, high grade uranium rock samples. Um, and we've got Charlotte Neely Lake, which is actually a uranium and gold project with, you know, up to 6% uh, uranium uh, in grabs um, and really interesting gold target, which, um, you know, uh, we've obtained some drilling reports, which really excite us. And I'm sure we'll come back to the market and form them as we as we move out uh, and advance those projects. Excellent. So six projects there. Your flagship being Big Bear, I guess, and you said you want to get out and drill that uh, within uh, within this year, really. So what can uh, the market expect? What can investors expect in terms of seeing some of these exploration plans come to fruition? Yeah, so the, the Schreiber-Hemler project, which is Big Bear and Jackfish. So 
both of these are on a really, really well endowed belt. Uh, we've got 38 known um, mineralization occurrences. You know, we've got, you know, lots of uh, gold in, in rocks in excess of 10 grams a tonne across both properties. So, you know, we know at surface the gold is there. So um, our focus will be a big bear to get, get out there and drill some of those targets um, and really show, you know, and try and pinpoint, you know, where this system is below surface. So that's the whole point of the, of the drill permit there. Um, we, we've been out to both properties uh, over the last couple of uh, exploration campaigns in the summers. Um, some really good work's gone into there. Um, so that's allowed us to build on the models there. We, we have some results which we're, we're still processing to, to finalise that model. Um, but we'll be out there later on in the summer uh, once we've completed all of this data review, which, of course, will keep the market informed uh, as we go. So they can expect a good number of updates for Schreiber Hemlo as we progress through to drilling this year, yes. Excellent. OK, so there's lots of news to come then this year, and hopefully you can really, uh, yes, yeah, you say, hit the ground running here now that the IPO is over the line. So good luck tomorrow with going to the LSD and ringing the bell, pushing the button, whatever it is uh, you do in this uh, in this day and age. I hope that goes very well, and I hope we can catch up again in the not too distant future to really look at some of the plans a bit more in a bit more specific detail or even take some of the projects and look at them in a bit more detail. But for now, thank you very much for your time. Ryan Mee, the CEO of Fulcrum Metals. Thanks, Mark. It's been a pleasure. If you enjoyed this interview, then give us a thumbs up, a like or a retweet. Subscribe to us on YouTube or follow us on Twitter and hit that notification bell to be the first to know when we release new content. There's loads of great content on our website too, across all our programmes at stockboxmedia.com. Thank you for watching.